Before we start this, my dudes, let me just warn you guys that this video may include potential E3 spoilers regarding Nintendo. So if you want no further details besides the title that you read spoiled, I advise you not to watch this. Cool? Cool. Now with that out of the way, What's happening my dudes? It's your boy AG back again with another Nintendo video. A short one though. <laughs> but man, I really need to get some other topics out on some Microsoft or Sony games. Something different. If the title and the intro didn't inform you enough, we've got a brand spanking new game leak to chat about. And it's pretty... Uh, mm, you know what? Let me just show you. Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. Yep, the rumors from months prior to the Switch launch were real. Fuck. Well, that actually isn't fair of me to say. I wouldn't be doing this video if I wasn't honestly interested in the title, which surprisingly enough I am. Let's get into the details so you're as informed as I am. First off, the info for this game has been dropped in waves, from the title to random picks to full-blown art and details. So your boy had to redo this video twice since more and more info want to pop up after I finished recording. But patience is a virtue, and now I got all the deets compiled and ready for you. You're fucking welcome. Okay, so Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battles geared up to be a turn-based RPG developed by Ubisoft Paris and Milan. Don't quote me on this, but I believe those teams have handled the Rabbids before, so they shouldn't be new to the game's characters. The game being another Mario RPG is the very reason why I'm even covering it. If it turned out to be another wacky party game or something, I wouldn't have given it a second glance, to be nice and truthful with you. But there might be a chance of something really good coming out of this if you've checked out the Mario RPGs of the Paper Mario games before. If you haven't, you're missing out big time. Just stay away from Sticker Star. Seriously, don't play that shit. Besides the game being RPG focused, it'll also involve a moderate sprinkle of exploration, where you'd be traversing four main areas that are twisted Mario worlds filled with references and easter eggs. Exploration is estimated to take up around 35% of gameplay while combat takes up the other 65. Speaking of combat, it'll be weapon based, as Mario and the Mushroom City goons pull out the burner on the ops for the first time. <laughs> I can't fucking believe I just said that. <laughs> It seems like the main selling point of this game is that Mario is using a weapon. Which is cool, I guess. Mega Man didn't need his arm blaster, he wasn't using it for a new game anyways. Combat is a lot more tactical focused than what we're used to with the standard Mario RPG titles, so it'll be more along the lines of a strategy RPG. Alright, so vibe with me for a second. What I'm guessing is that this game is going to be one of those top-down grid-based RPGs akin to Fire Emblem, or more closely XCOM, and if that's true, I'm going to be hype as fuck. I'm thinking this because it goes along with some of the details covered on some of the images. Dashing could be some kind of ability used to go from cover to cover faster, destructible cover so there must be some kind of cover system since they're using guns or I guess blasters now which makes sense for them to be using cover and said cover to be destructible. And even unique hero playstyles which just screams a class system to me and kind of goes along with the whole codename thing they were doing for some characters. For example, Eagle Eye Luigi. Sounds like a sniper or a ranger class to me. I don't know man, if the combat ends up being like XCOM my guy, this may be my low key new favorite Switch game. Fuck it, I'm calling it now. This game's gonna be Mario meets XCOM. And before y'all call me crazy, let's wait and see at E3. Now let's step away from gameplay and talk characters. Besides playing as Mario, there are 8 characters in total for use, each with their own codename. It's unclear whether the game's gonna have a party system or what, and it's also possible that the codenames were used for pitching the game's idea. Doubt they'd use the word badass in the Mario title. So you got, of course, Mario, Princess Peach, Luigi who looks like he's about to get the money you owe him, but that's right. and there's Yoshi, along with 4 rabid versions of those characters. Other than that, we don't really have any more information leaked about the game. We do know that it'll have two player co-op, so I guess there's something. Honestly, the game doesn't sound too bad, right? If you open up your mind's eye like your boy, you could see this game turn out pretty dope if it went down the grid RPG route. The Switch can use another lighthearted RPG, so I guess I'm down for it, even if it has those damned rabbits in it. But that's all we have to cover today. It's been real, my dudes. Tell me what you guys think about the game below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay golden. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you look right above me, you can see two of my previous videos. So, if you feel like supporting your boy, feel free to check them out. It's okay. Take your time. I'll just be right here when you're ready to watch them.